Okay, let's see if we can maybe get a couple things here. So the shells there, man. Wow. Gotta go quick though. So much. Whoa. Good morning. It's sunrise. We are enjoying this beautiful South Florida morning. And we're going to be looking for some gorgeous seashells. I just passed the last person here. And there is no one. In front of me. So we are on. Beautiful little bittersweet. Looks like this guy was drilled out probably by either a whelk or a moon snail. Nice spine. Bittersweet with the sunrise. Bittersweet. Look at the color on that. Oh my gosh. Wow. Nice. Beautiful little bonnet. Sorry, where's she at? Right here. Yeah. Nice little scotchy. Sweet find here. You see that? Buried right in. That is a beautiful little sundial. And then over here, a hidden little bittersweet. A bittersweet and a sundial. This is a cool find. It may look inconspicuous. That's the top of a queen conch. That is cool. I'll keep that. Hard shell. That is a gorgeous find. And over here, another scotch bonnet. Sweet. Nice finds. Beautiful. See it? A little chestnut turban. Two nice scores here. We got a little scotchy. And right here, it's a beautiful little shark eye. Scotch bonnet and a shark eye. I know it's only a piece, but that's the piece of a Horse conch on the east coast of Florida is kind of rare. Can you imagine if we found a whole one? Look at this scotch bonnet. That is a really nice find. Beautiful. Wow. With the yellow pattern on it, gorgeous find. Some nice lettered olive, especially for the east coast of Florida. Nice. Gorgeous little shark eye. Good morning to you.
hear the shells and the waves, but those waves are too rough. Cardita. That's kind of cool. Ah, look. It's so small it won't come into focus. There we go. Alright, so the tide is going out and there's a bunch of shells. Hear that? A bunch of shells here, but <laughs> the waves are still pumping up. But we can do it. Can you see anything? You see a lot of pieces. I might have to wait. Till the tide goes out a little bit more. But I mean, you guys can see that there's just tons and tons of shell pieces here. Alright, I'm gonna get out of the water here. Uh, we'll come back to this when the tide goes out a little bit further. Alright, sweet score. I, I mean, it's only. Oh, it's almost whole. That's a. Oh my gosh, that's like a crown conch that's been buried in sediment. Wow, that guy, it's like black and blue. Look at the color on this. Look at that. That's, that's cool, that's a nifty find. And it's almost whole. flat scallop. I know that's tiny, but it's still kind of cool. Okay, a couple things here. So we got a really nice oyster and another oyster next door. So I'll juxtapose these. Look at that. Those are pretty. The purple on that one, and that's orange. I'm definitely going to hold on to those. Lion's paw. Look at that. Let's see if I can get a better shot. Sorry, y'all. Look at that beauty. Nice little lion's paw in this pile here. And another Cardetta. Cool finds. Alright, I found a little Natica. I have no idea what kind that is. It's got little lightning stripes on it. it might be a juvenile gaudy natica or a Florida natica. It's going in the bag for sure. All right, so I literally just moved this seaweed aside and found a little crown conch. Literally, so sometimes you just gotta, let's get them into focus. Sometimes you just gotta move the seaweed aside. That's cool. Cool colored lettered olive. I've noticed that these guys exist on a spectrum of color on the east coast here. From regular patterned lettered olive all the way up through like pure brown chocolate. This guy's more on the lighter side, but still kind of cool. Still kind of cool. I will hold on to that. Okay, let's see if we can maybe get a couple things here. So shells there, man. Wow. Gotta go quick, though. So much. Whoa. Hey.
nice little toasted coconut lace murex. It's got a hole, but it's still nice. Gorgeous lettered olive, man. That is spectacular. I've never seen one so beautiful on the east coast of Florida. That is nifty. Wow. scallop. Uh, this stuff is mostly spectrals and olives, um, but that's a cool little flat. Got a little anthers here. Literally, I'm, I just stumbled on this pile. There's a couple other shellers here as well, too. Uh, but this is, this is insane. This is insane, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Well, nice augers. Those are really good shape. Hey, y'all, this is kind of cool. By no means whole. It's a piece of a Genonia. It's the cob of a Genonia. <laughs> so that is pretty spectacular. That is nice. I've never found one before. So that's pretty cool. Gorgeous little Imperial Venus. Man, that is nice. Oh. Ooh. Sorry, y'all. Beautiful. Red brown arc. That's the biggest one I found so far. A little bit different than the turkey, Michael. Very Found some great stuff today here on the east coast of Florida. Of course, we have some beautiful bittersweet clams. I always love collecting those, especially the ones with the sharp orange pigments. Uh, we have some beautiful letter olives, including this one, which I found in that shell pile with a nice texture and pattern on it. Um, got some spectral bittersweets. Got some shark eyes, some chestnut turbans. Found a ton of augers in that shell pile. Uh, we got a beautiful little sundial there. We got some gorgeous scotch bonnets. Those are always fun to find. Got some crown conchs, some red brown arcs, a mossy arc, a turkey wing or zebra arc, some beautiful colorful thorny oysters, some carditas. Uh, found some flat scallops in that pile over there. Got some beautiful uh, imperial venuses and uh, a little lion's paw and a toasted coconut lace murex. So thank you as always for coming along and I will of course see you on that next adventure.